Hey guys, this is Dan from RED, and I'm gonna be covering our new image processing pipeline. I'll start by explaining what it is, why it matters, and most importantly, how it affects you. An image processing pipeline encompasses all the steps that take us from the raw sensor data to the final image output. Unlike past color science improvements, this time we've done a complete overhaul of the image pipeline and its color controls. The result is a more standardized and simplified workflow with some under the hood enhancements to tones, challenging colors, and detail. First off, Challenging colors are less likely to become overly saturated or intense near the edges of the output color space. In practice, this will mean things like colored LEDs, tail lights, and lens chromatic aberrations will appear more naturally saturated and less often as solid blocks of color. Next, we have improved how the raw sensor data is processed in order to extract even higher detail at the same pixel resolution. You'll really notice a difference in high contrast details such as fine lines, fabrics, and textures. We have also calibrated our ISO for helium sensors to better match your light meter and improve overall exposure quality. Compared to Dragon and earlier sensors, this results in a one-stop exposure difference, meaning shooting at ISO 400 will look the same as ISO 800 did previously. Another improvement is with our highlight dynamic range. Challenging or clipped highlights now roll off gradually and naturally, but are controllable to match whatever output you're working in. Now for one of the biggest changes. We're moving away from our one-off color spaces and gamma systems, such as Dragon Color 2 and Red Gamma 4. With our improved pipeline, everything is based off our new standard of Red Wide Gamma RGB and Log 3G10. This will bring consistency to your workflow and red files because you'll always be at a common starting point regardless of which camera, look, or output you choose. This matters most to you because it separates the technical from the creative controls. With Red Wide Gamut and Log3G10, you have the same technical wide gamut starting point that encompasses the colors and dynamic range of all past and current red cameras. Then you can apply whatever creative 3D LUTs or CDLs on top of these without the need for a new color space or gamma with each new look. One of the best parts is that this is all designed from the ground up with HDR-centric workflows in mind. That's our new image pipeline. Overall, you'll notice a variety of visual enhancements with challenging colors, highlights, and detail, along with simpler and more intuitive workflow. Stay tuned for future RedTechs.